So this is the last part of the New Zealand videos because that's all the footage that I have. Um, but we essentially got to Queenstown, we spent a couple of days there um, doing all like the adrenaline stuff that we could fit in. Um, so that was like the original bungee jump. We did want to do the nevers but it was so busy um, so we just didn't have time at all to do any of them. But to be honest any bungee jump is as good as any other one. So this was my second one. Um, the first one I ever did was in Cairns and that was actually I think that was like 70 meters or something. So it's a little bit higher than the one, the original bungee jump. So the Kaurau Bridge, which you just saw in the video, that's 43 meters, but it's actually the first ever commercially um, made bungee jump. So that was pretty cool and the view was really cool. Um, and I went after Maddie, um, Connor went first and then Maddie went next and she's like terrified of heights um, and she literally was like nearly crying like get me out I was like no like you're already strapped like you can do this blah blah, blah. Um, and the guys were really good at like persuading her as well so yeah eventually she j she jumped um, and it was really fun um, what else did we do? Yeah, we did a couple of jet boats. The shot over one, which you saw in the video, um, is a really fun, like, adrenaline one. It's, like, 25 minutes. Um, and it really does feel like you're gonna hit, like, the rocks and stuff. Like, the drivers are insane. Like, to be a jet boat driver, like, you definitely can't do that however. <laughs> um, and then I've also done the K-Jet boat, um, which is, like, an hour. And that's more, you still do, like, the 360s and, like, feel like you're gonna hit, like, trees and stuff um but that one is a little bit more scenic because you start at the lakefront um whereas the shot over river one is um at shot over river um which is about a 20 minute 15 minute drive from town whereas this one you can literally just walk on the lakefront in queenstown jump on a cage air and then you go to um you go along more like Kara river um which is pretty cool um yeah, what else did we do? We did, um, we couldn't film any, um, videos or get any, we only got pictures, um, but we did do the Go Orange Whitewater Rafting. Um, yeah, we did do the Go Orange Whitewater Rafting and that was around four hours. That was epic because it was like two hours of rafting, um, and it takes about 45 minutes to get up to, like, Skipper's Canyon, which is New Zealand's most dangerous road. Um, 
and that was pretty cool because you're literally just like at the edge of a cliff for like four to five minutes going up. We had a pretty epic crew. There's like an Asian couple and then this um, Australian guy, he couldn't, um, he did have a wife but she was pregnant so she couldn't go on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really, really fun. And um, so it's different to the rafting that I did in Rotorua um because it was a little bit longer and it wasn't more about the drops it was more about like the speed and the types of um sort of i don't know what you call it canyons <laughs> canyons that you go through like one of them we were literally stuck underneath like this mini waterfall for like it felt like two minutes or something it was probably even longer but we just couldn't stop laughing um so i really enjoyed that um just because of how long it is as well, um, we were exhausted, like literally, I was, I was so hungry <laughs> the whole time. And then we actually did the canyon swing, the shot over canyon swing, which um, is really cool because it's a good mix between like a, um, a bungee jump um, and the swing, um, because you jump, and then I did it with Maddie, we were like strapped together in tandem, yeah, you jump and you free fall, and then instead of like being bounced back up and down, um, you actually swing, which was it's a really cool mix and it was over shot over river as well but then i've put in stuff that i did after like the road trip so when i came back to queenstown to work there um i did a couple of other activities which you saw which was the hang gliding um i've been skydiving twice before so i wasn't too fussed about skydiving um but um yeah but i wanted to try out hang gliding um and there's actually so it's kind of like, it's the same thing as paragliding, except with paragliding, you're sitting on the seat. Um, with hang gliding, you're hung from like your back. So you're kind of like Superman, flying bird. Um, and there's two places that you can do it near Queenstown. So I did the one at Coronet Peak, which is about a 20 minute drive from Queenstown. The cool thing is um, your view is basically of like the remarkables, like the ski fields and stuff. I mean, you saw in the video. Um, so that's and that's all included in the price um and actually if you do the other one which is like you'd probably see it if you go into queenstown you see people like falling and stuff um because you have to go up the luge but it's like an extra 40 bucks on top of what you paid um to go up there and do it um and yeah i mean it's really up to you but the view we coronet peak was really nice and i can imagine in winter it'd be so lush with all the ice and the glacier and stuff um and then I also did the Dart River horse riding on the Reese River Trail, which is actually in Glenorchy, which is about, I think it's like an hour um, drive from Queenstown, but the drive is insane because you're literally driving along Lake Wakatipu, um, and it's just so lush. And basically they film like loads of like Lord of the Rings. I'm pretty sure Eyes and God is there. Um, thanks, Google. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they also filmed apparently like Wolverine and Mulan and all that stuff there. So that was pretty cool, but it was really fun. I was, um, I did a two hour one and our guide was like this English girl who just moved there as well. So that was quite cool. She was good crack. Um, and this other Kiwi lady, um, and then in my group was like this, um, this English like woman and her daughter, but they've lived in Perth like for ages. Um, but she's actually an experienced rider and like five minutes into the um five minutes into the ride she had horse literally just like threw her off um not so violently but she did fall on the floor and we were literally like what the fuck <laughs> and it was her daughter's first time as well riding so i think she was a little bit freaked out but she literally just like got up and was like cool whatever like no fucks given um and then on the last like five minutes her daughter's um horse then just like I don't know, just crashed, like, just was just like, I can't bother with this, and then just fell down, it was, yeah, so I was like, shitting myself, like, oh my god, am I gonna get thrown off, um, but yeah, anyway, um, but that was really cool, I just did those on my days off, um, so that's a f fun thing about Queenstown, literally, I do miss it a lot, um, because, Especially with the job that I had, literally on your days off, you would do like for mills um, and basically just test out all the different activities. Um, so I did that. We did like a wine and cheese, not wine and cheese. We did like a wine and craft beer tour, um, 
which was good crack because it had like it was a good mix of like wine and beer and you visit like three different vineyards slash like craft beer places um but you also get snacks which was yeah i mean i always need snacks when it comes to alcohol um yeah but that's pretty much queenstown i mean it's what you expect it to be like what people have told you it's like just full of life um there's literally like five roads and filled with like so many bars and restaurants like you can basically go out any like every single night every night is a weekend um and there's so much amazing food places and it, it's just lush it's just so lush talking about it now actually makes me miss it a lot um just because it's so small but like so beautiful like it just yeah it just captures new zealand like so well um but i don't know i might do like a separate video about it if you guys want um but probably not <laughs> Then we changed camper van we got like a proper high top one um because connor came um and then we drove to mount cook um on the way we stopped at a, like um a couple of wineries just because why not like, me and maddie weren't driving so connor was in charge so we could just like get drunk <laughs> basically so we just got to mount cook we just parked at like the camper van site next to um the hooker valley track because we knew we wanted to do it um but yeah unfortunately the next day we couldn't um get on the flight because the weather wasn't very good um but the hooker valley track was really really cool um it was cool because at the end you see this like glacier lake and you see like icebergs and stuff on the lake um but insane actually because i went like three to four weeks later and it was basically gone so yeah it's mental um but the hooker valley track is a really nice track to do because it's basically flat it's not really a hike it's more just yeah like it says a track um but it's just beautiful like so many different colors but after you basically done that there's not really much to do in mount cook unless you wanted to do one of those like few day hikes which we didn't really have time for so we drove to lake tekapo um which is literally like 45 minutes um but we did stop at lake bukaki um for like a quick swim it was freezing but it was so nice because you get the view of like man cook in the background um and then yeah we literally spent like 
basically a few hours in Lake Tekapo because we just wanted to do the stargazing. Um, so it's actually like a protected observatory sort of area. Um, but I love that. I didn't, I don't have any footage of it because it was so dark, like you couldn't really see anything. Um, and I didn't have my camera then to film like the stars and stuff, but it was so fascinating to like listen to um, the tour guide talk about like the different stars and we use like those telescopes to like look up close to them. Um, but the best bit was like we went into this like hot pools and we were basically stargazing while he told us stories for like two hours um, at like 1am in the morning um, with like hot chocolate and stuff. So yeah, absolutely loved it. Would definitely, definitely recommend it. <laughs> Can you see in this video how we absolutely failed at trying to park? Well, basically we wanted to park. We wanted to get, Maddie wanted to get like photos <laughs> um, of like the camper van by the lake. Um, but we went down like so close um we tried to get close to it but it was basically made out of like stone pebbles and we just didn't even think about it so when we tried to get out we got stuck but thankfully these people like this couple like kindly helped us and like help us put wood underneath the wheel so it would go so we learned a lesson we just park where there's concrete <laughs> Yes, after Lake Tekapo, we then drove to Kaikoura, which was quite a long drive. That's That was like five hours, I think. Definitely worth it. Um, there's so many animals that you can see, like sea animals. So we saw like baby seal pups. Um, we saw, as um, you'll see in this video, you'll see um, sperm whales. Absolutely love them. I don't care if I put like three clips consecutively of them basically just blowing water from their noses. I just, it was so magical. It was so magical because literally like 30 minutes in, we saw like two sperm whales and they wouldn't, and literally they were just, they just wouldn't stop breathing. I loved it. And then it's really cool how like the tour guides know when they're gonna breach. Um, so that was really magical and a dream come true. I love Wales, literally. I was freaking love Wales season last year in Australia. It was so fun. Um, but anyway, but anyway, sperm whales are there all year round and they also have orca whales. Um, so Maddie and Connor went on like a helicopter flight um, and they saw orca whales from above, which was really cool because Maddie loves free willy. Um, but yeah, I didn't go because it was very expensive. <laughs> um, and we tr also tried crayfish because apparently the best crayfish was in Kaikoura. It was like, I think it was like $40 or something for like half a kilo, for like $50. It was something really expensive and you literally got like a couple of bites from it, but it was worth trying it. Oh, um, unfortunately we couldn't do the dolphin swimming, which is actually what a lot of people do in Kaikoura. Um, and yeah unfortunately it was like fully booked until the next month um so that was bad planning on our part um and apparently yeah very high in demand if you really want to do it um but luckily in our sperm whale watching tour um there were loads of dolphins just like playing so you'll see in the video um so that was just as cool to be honest like yeah and they really were like so playful like they're out there to like show off <laughs> which is really cute um but yeah and then we drove to Christchurch um and then they caught their flight to Sydney in the evening and I stayed for one more night just to chill I literally just stayed in my room I just got like a private room because I, I don't know I after like a week of camper vanning or like no two weeks two and a half weeks you do kind of want like your own privacy then <laughs> um so I was just like, treat myself, honey. <laughs> and then the next day I got the intercity bus back to Queenstown, which took like freaking seven hours. We stopped at like Tekapo, Mount Cook, like all the places that we stopped out on the way. Um, and then, yeah. And then I started my job the next day. Crazy. Um, but anyway, yeah. Watch the video, enjoy. <laughs>
so we couldn't do Milford Sound whilst um, we were in Queenstown um, because the roads were destroyed by the floods so they were getting rebuilt at the time actually so the only way that you could have gone on it was to either well just basically do a helicopter flight or like a scenic flight to there and then do the cruise um, traditionally you could actually just like drive there yourself or take like the coach and stuff um, so yeah so we couldn't get on any um, but a few weeks after I um, yeah settled down in Queenstown my friend um, from the UK um, came and then we did um, we managed to get on a like a fly cruise fly so you get on this small like ski type of plane literally there's like I think there was only like six of us or something um, and it was so magical like so so worth it if you can so put it this way like a coach um, a coach cruise coach so you start from Queenstown go to Milford so you come from Queenstown it takes like four hours to get there because um because basically everyone's queuing up like all the coach companies um and then when you get there there's like an hour or like it's like an hour and 45 minute cruise and then you have to go back again which takes like another four hours because you're basically yeah following everyone um that like you can get pretty cheap ones for like 120 but you could also some of them are also like 200 bucks whereas the fly cruise fly that we did was like 500 um and to be honest it's really worth it for that extra like i mean it sounds a lot now but i don't know i just think it's worth it because you fly from queenstown airport um and you do a scenic flight for like 40 minutes insane because you see you basically get a view of queenstown and then you get a view of like the Fjorda National Park essentially and see all this shit that you wouldn't normally see if you were like driving on the road um because you're literally above the mountains which is insane and then you see like glaciers as well you see like Mount Cook from far away um and then actually when you arrive you see Milford you um cruise through Milford from above up to the edge of like the Tasman Sea and then back and then you and then you do the cruise for like two hours which um to be honest was actually a little bit underwhelming just because we've already seen like Milford Sound from above but it was still pretty cool like we saw like the seals there and stuff um and yeah no oh, it was it was really nice and then yeah on the way back you take a different route which is again like another 40 minutes um so it's like for me it was really worth like paying for it um and yeah I just think it's like one of the you know like one of the one of the wonders of the world um so yeah i'd highly recommend doing it <laughs> um but yeah anyway so i just wanted to show you a little clip of that and yeah i hope you enjoy <laughs> absolutely loved like I'm so glad that I actually edited these videos together and that I filmed them um just because like I loved like editing it and looking back at the memories and I know in a few years time I'll look back at it and be like wow um and I used to do the, them anyway like with spark videos I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that app but 
um, my friend recommended it to me when we were like at uni so every time I'd go on like holiday or something I'd like film little bits and then make like a little montage video with some cool music <laughs> um so yeah maybe i'll upload those they're not going to be like the best quality but maybe i can like react to it or something i think i definitely need to change music because i used like music that would be copyrighted but anyway um yeah just to sum up new zealand i really like i'm glad i did i did it in such a mixed way of like doing it solo for the North Island and doing the straight bus and like meeting new people um, as well as doing the road trip with like my best friends like for the South Island. I would definitely recommend doing um, the South Island as a road trip just because there's so many places and so many hikes that you can stop at that you wouldn't normally that the buses would normally miss out um but i do also get that if you're by yourself it's quite hard to just drive like by yourself um because they are also like lengthy um they're lengthy like drives that you have to do um but yeah anyway um thanks for coming to my ted talk i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> watch the space if i'm gonna upload anything else um this was really cringy to make, to be honest. But anyway, thanks for watching.